The first phase of the cleanup focused on removing the oil slicks and contaminated sand from the surface of the affected beaches and deploying booms to avoid further contamination. All the remaining affected areas have entered the second phase of the cleanup response, which focuses on difficult to clean areas like rock buns, brick waters, and oil trapped deeper in the sand. Members of the public may notice a scaling down of general cleaning at the beaches as more specialised teams are deployed to clean these difficult areas. General cleaning of the beaches may still be required as oil remnants may continue to be washed ashore. The cleaning methods for the second phase have been decided jointly between the oil spill consultants and the cleaning contractors. These methods may be refined along the way as the shoreline of each affected area may be different. For ecologically sensitive locations, and parks is consulted on the methods to be deployed. <clears throat> Once the second phase of cleaning operation is completed, we will move to the final phase, where we remove tar balls from the beaches and inspect affected areas for any remaining oil stains. We expect the cleanup to take around three months, but these will vary for each area, depending on the extent they are affected. One degree 15 marina and the marina at Capo Bay have reopened as cleanup efforts continue to progress. The cordon off area of the beaches at Sentosa, along East Coast Park, and Southern Islands will progressively open for land based activities. We will test the water quality to ensure that it is back to normal and stable for at least a week before resuming swimming and other primary contact sea activities.